All right, now we're doing 7Q filtered coffee. This is by Bitcoin, and 91% of the people like it. Pardon me. We love coffee and want to know what beans we can afford to buy it. The first argument to our search function will be a number which represents our budget. The second argument will be an array of coffee bean prices. Our uh, search function should return the stores that sell coffee within our budget, and the search function should return a string of prices for the coffee beans we can afford. The prices in this string are to be sorted in ascending order. All right. So right here we're going to say const search equals budget and prices and then we're going to turn this into an arrow and come down here and say console.log so we can test it easily all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to filter uh we're going to use the filter method on this uh, prices array this array right here and so if you don't know about the filter method it creates a shallow copy of a portion of an array filtered down to just the elements from the given array that pass the tests the test implemented by the provided function. Uh, in the syntax we're going to use, we're going to use this arrow function syntax. We're going to have filter here, element for an argument for this function that's going to filter out uh, using the expression we write. So we're going to say, uh, first we're going to say prices.filter, and we're going to have an element, and uh, we're going to have the element be less than or equal to uh, budget. All right, so it's going to go through every element and see if it's less than or equal to our budget. So any on this one, anything uh, less than or equal to three can go into the new array, which will be like this. So let's test it out to see if it looks good right now. Yeah, look good. All right, looking good. Whatever. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so now that we've got this filter, we can come down here and we're going to say uh, dot uh, sort because we're going to sort this in ascending order. So we're going to say dot sort. And if you don't know about the sort method, uh, it uh, sorts the element of an array in place and returns the reference to the same array now sorted. The default sort order is ascending built upon converting the elements into strings and then comparing their sequences of UTF-16 code units. Uh, so because of that, we're going to have to do a, uh, what is it? We're going to have to do a function uh, to actually sort it because if we leave it as is, it'll put, uh, like right here, it'll make 10, uh, excuse me, 100,000 be before numbers like 21 and uh, the number 4 as well. So we're going to use these, this uh, arrow function syntax with A and B here, and then we're going to do A minus B uh, because when it's, when the number in the expression gets, is a, uh, what is it? it? When it's negative, uh, it'll go to the right, and when it's positive, it'll go to the left. All right. So let's come over here. We're going to say a comma b, a minus b, and let's test it out. All right now it's one two two. That's the uh, order we need it in. So we're going to come down here, and we're going to say dot join, and we're going to join it by the by these uh, commas right here. And if you don't know about the join method, uh, it creates and returns a new string by concatenating all the elements in an array separated by commas or a specified separator string. Uh, if the array has only one item, then th that item will be returned without using the separator. So, I don't even think we need this. Maybe we do. Let's see. Test it out. Uh, let's see. Take out the console.log, test it out. Ah, oh, there we go. Awesome. Attempt it. All right. And so we don't even need the uh, single quotes comma because it'll just do it by itself. All right. Submit it. All right. So these people, they did it. Uh, that way, like we just said, we didn't have to do uh, this. These guys did it uh, different. They did a filter sort and then two string. Anyway, and you can check out the rest if you feel like it. Let's go to mine. Uh, just me, best practice in my opinion. Very much like this. And we'll see you next time.